New tonight, he worked on some of the most iconic Disney movies of all time, like The Lion King and Pocahontas. But before that, he had some earlier sketches that he lost. Now, almost 40 years later, he's being reunited with those works of art. The news station's Matt Treza has the story. When local artist Thomas Thorsbecken was 21 years old, he decided to hit the road. So I literally found a bicycle for $5 on some ad in the newspaper, and that's what I went with. He would bike and camp across America from New Jersey to Washington State. This was the planned route. Although I deviated, I ended up going south and then coming back up. Among his supplies, the future Disney artist packed this sketchbook. Most of it was a journal, and that's what the others were as well on the trip. This is a note from somebody, a pen pal, started telling me places I should go. He was already starting to fill it with drawings, but something happened. Apparently the first day of the trip, it just bounced off the bike. That was in 1983. A couple from New Jersey found it on the side of the road, took it home, and boxed it up. Now, 36 years later, they tracked Thor Specken down and got it back to him. Out of the blue, somebody just contacted me by email and he said, uh, I, I was going through some stuff in the house, going through boxes, and found your sketchbook. And like that, the book was headed home. He just mailed it off to me. Now, on Thor Specken's desk, he says the book represents hope. It's not so bad. Uh, just go about your day and, and keep creating. That's the main thing. And that's what I've been doing since. He went on to work on such Disney films as Pocahontas and The Lion King, and now teaches art. He says he can't wait to finish filling the sketchbook's pages. Somebody suggested that? Bring this on trips. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do. In Orlando, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.